nasty fall on a SEPTA bus leads to not only serious injuries, but a big payout for a Philadelphia man. The region's transportation giant says its bus driver made a bad call in the incident. But as Jeff Cole and Fox 29 Investigates found, it hasn't hurt her career. Roland Epps' fateful SEPTA bus ride starts like most others. The lifelong city resident boards a bus at Ridge and Wallace while nursing a surgically repaired foot. He's heading to his tiny Philadelphia Housing Authority apartment after a visit with his daughter. But just as the ride starts, Epps is sprawled on the floor of the bus, writhing in pain. I hit one reel and bounced off the reel and I hit a chair. Oh. I was really messed up. He ended up in the hospital facing surgery and a long recovery, while SEPTA, funded with tax dollars and riders fares, paid through the nose for the incident, captured by its own cameras. Well, we realized that uh, the incident that occurred uh, was not handled properly. The operator in this case made a bad judgment, a poor judgment, and we realized that we could not defend this case. SEPTA settled. Here's why. It was December 5th, 2011 when Epps, on crutches and in a boot, boarded the bus. At the wheel was Nicola Rogers, a SEPTA driver for nearly 17 years. The cameras track him moving slowly down the aisle. He stops and suddenly tumbles forward as the bus moves. Look again from different angles. Epps, who has a criminal history and admits he's made mistakes in life, claims Rogers lurched the vehicle forward. She acted like he was in a hurry to get somewhere. So she moved off pretty yeah. quickly. Since she jerked the, she jerked the bus when she hit the gas. Epps grabs for his elbow while two passengers come to his aid. Watches the man in the overcoat walks from Epps to the front of the bus near the driver twice, gesturing with his hands. But without sound, it's unclear if he's alerting Rogers. Epps remains on the floor as the bus keeps right on rolling. In fact, Nicola Rogers never stopped to check on Epps until she arrived at the end of the line, 8th and Market. 11 minutes later, Thomas Gibbons is Epps' attorney. The video clearly shows for 11 minutes he's sitting in the middle of the aisle in agonizing pain, oftentimes wiping tears away from his eyes. Attorney Gibbons says Rogers told him she did notice Epps board the bus with crutches, but says she didn't see him fall and didn't know that he remained in the aisle. SEPTA says the policy is to immediately pull the bus over and attend to the passenger. That didn't happen here, but it hasn't hurt Rogers. She's been promoted. Before we tell you about her promotion, take a look as passengers step over Roland Epps as they get off. Rogers, at the end of her route, is seen finally walking back and quickly speaking with Epps before moving away. He says she asked if he was all right. Do it look like I'm all right? Yeah. Hell no, I'm not all right. I'm in the aisle of the bus I'm, here. I'm, sl I'm still laying in the floor. You might as well say I'm laying in the floor. Contacted online, Rogers would not comment. There was no answer on her phone. Are you Miss Rogers? You're not? And when we tried to speak with her at her home, she at first said she wasn't Nicola Rogers, quickly refused comment, and wouldn't get out of her car. Can you explain to me what happened there, though? Along with other injuries, Epps suffered a fractured left elbow and his triceps muscle above the elbow broke away. He needed surgery to repair it. He sued SEPTA. Late last year, the agency settled for 240 grand, just $10,000 short of the maximum payment allowed under the law. Do you think $240,000 is a significant amount to pay out since this agency is funded both with tax dollars and riders' fares? It is a significant amount. And uh, we, you know, hope that in most situations that our employees act properly where we're not liable. And what about Rogers' promotion? About seven months after Epps went tumbling, Nicola Rogers moved up at SEPTA and got a pay hike. She's now a trainer 
teaching others how to safely drive SEPTA buses. She did have an 11 minutes of, of poor judgment, and because of that, you know, we accept uh, liability. But you don't think that mistake or that judgment call that she made has any impact on the fact that she's trying to train SEPTA bus drivers, oh, future all. bus drivers? She has You think 16. she's fine there? She had 16 years as an excellent employee before that incident. SEPTA's Williams says Rogers was disciplined but won't say how. She adds, Rogers regrets not pulling over that bus. In her incident report, Rogers writes that Epps stated that he tripped and was fine, but adds, when I got to the end of the line, he asked for an ambulance. Roland Epps says he never told anyone that he was fine. Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. I still can't get over the fact people were stepping over him. Yeah. I, I, amazing.